In north central Iowa, there are large, flightless birds roaming the landscape. We usually only see these guys in zoos, but as we're about to find out, they also make for an interesting farming enterprise. Ostrich is a long-legged, long-necked bird with two toes. It is a native of South Africa. They typically live on the African savanna. They're grazing animals, so they hunt for their grass. In the early 1990s, Helen Wall's husband, Art, was looking for an agricultural venture other than corn and soybeans to bring in a little extra money on the land they already owned, but with very little additional input. His brilliant idea? Ostrich. We started in 1994 with eight birds that were one years old, four boys and four girls, and we expected perhaps they would mate and make lots of babies and create lots of income for us. So it's kind of been an adventure since then. <laughs> That adventure involved a few challenges, and eventually the walls invested in an incubator. After a couple of years, we hatched and we grazed seven chicks. And when they were ready to sell, boy, we were finally going to start getting money from this enterprise. No one wanted to buy them. <laughs> no one would buy ostriches in 1997. So we ate them. Demand for ostrich meat in Iowa has changed quite a bit since 1997. Helen says folks who are looking to eat healthier and who have the willingness to experiment with meat beyond beef, chicken, and pork have turned to ostrich as one of the alternatives. Ostrich is extremely lean. The USDA test shows it's 97% lean. It's high in iron, it's low in cholesterol. Hi guys, how you doing? People have finally decided, yes, ostrich is wonderful. The demand is great. I could sell so much more than I have. There are prime cuts of ostrich, usually called fillets, being cooked up and served by adventurous Iowa chefs. Even though it is poultry, the meat is red, and it might remind you a little bit of beef. There are also steaks, roasts, and ground ostrich. Saturday, we had some lasagna with ostrich. It's great on things like tacos and and spaghetti sauce and all of that. Uh, I make burgers, um, meatloaf. Ostrich meat can usually be purchased online or sometimes in specialty grocery stores. And in case you're wondering, you can also eat an ostrich egg. One is equal to about 24 chicken eggs, which might come in handy if you're ever making a gigantic batch of cookies or a humongous omelet. It's all right. It's all right. To Helen, spending time with towering, big-eyed poultry is just a normal part of her daily life. I like the interaction with the birds. Um, I like that something's depending on me. So I guess I, I'm the caretaker. <laughs> Taking care of these birds and their eggs is working well for the walls. It's definitely a prime example of agricultural diversity, one that Helen suggests can be an add-on to more conventional farming, and one she sees as expanding in Iowa. We need more producers, and we need more processors. So we need them on the front end, because the sales has finally worked. 